black hole, morsels, could finally prove Stephen Hawking's famous theory right. Stephen Hawking's hypothesis that black holes emit thermal radiation, known as Hawking radiation, has been a cornerstone of theoretical physics for decades, yet remains unproven. Recent research suggests a new approach that could provide the first empirical evidence of this radiation by studying small, rapidly evaporating black holes produced during black hole mergers. Hawking's 1974 theory proposed that black holes emit particles due to quantum effects near their event horizons, causing them to gradually lose mass and eventually evaporate. This radiation is incredibly difficult to detect, especially in larger black holes that would take longer than the universe's current age to evaporate. However, researchers Francesco Sanino and Giacomo Cacciapaglia propose that, morsel, black holes, or, Bacchini di Buccineri, created during black hole collisions, could provide a detectable source of Hawking radiation. Welcome, I hope you enjoy then subscribe and like. These tiny black holes, with masses significantly smaller than stellar black holes, would evaporate much faster, potentially within human observable timeframes. As they lose mass, they would emit increasing amounts of Hawking radiation, culminating in a final explosive burst of high-energy radiation. The signature of this process, particularly gamma-ray bursts, could be observed in regions where black hole mergers have been detected. Astrophysical black holes, typically several times the mass of the Sun, are too cold to emit observable Hawking radiation because their temperatures are lower than the cosmic microwave background CMB. However, morsel black holes, being much smaller, would be hotter and could potentially emit detectable radiation. Detecting these morsel black holes involves several steps. Firstly, identifying black hole mergers through the gravitational waves they emit a technique already in use by observatories like LIGO and Virgo. Following this, gamma-ray telescopes such as the High Altitude Water Cherenkov Gamma-ray Observatory could look for the high-energy photons indicative of Hawking radiation. The researchers estimate that morsel black holes with masses around 20,000 tons could evaporate in about 16 years, while those with masses around 100,000 kilotons might last hundreds of years, emitting photons with energies exceeding trillions of electron volts TV. This is comparable to the energies produced by particle accelerators like CERN's Large Hadron Collider. While this approach is promising, there is significant work ahead. Theoretical models of Hawking radiation emission at these high energies need refinement, and collaborations with experimental physicists are necessary to search for these unique signatures in existing data. Confirming the existence of morsel black holes and Hawking radiation would not only validate a key aspect of Hawking's theory but also bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity. The team's findings are detailed in a pre-print paper on Archive, outlining their innovative approach to potentially proving one of Stephen Hawking's most profound theories. Thanks for watching.